Oh, well, hi there, fellow Dominicans, and welcome back to my channel today. Thank you so much for instant transmissioning to my video. Today we are back with another Eda bag video. You guys really seemed to like the last one I did, which was the Hamtaro one, and I had a lot of fun with that one. So today we have a cat bus Eda bag to do today. This is so exciting. Little story, I backed up this Eda bag on Kickstarter quite a long time ago. And right when it got funded is the same time that good old COVID ended up hitting. So it took a little while to get this Eda bag here, but that is totally okay because it is worth the wait. This bag is so big. I have so much space in here and it's so big and it's so freaking cute. So I don't know if you guys know Stamy Studios, Stommy Studios, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. I will put their little name up here somewhere and I'll try and link their Instagram and everything down below in the description box. But they are the ones that did this bag. So you have the option of getting a cat bus bag. There was also Gigi and there was the Cheshire Cat and Luna from Sailor Moon. And I really wanted to do the Cat Bus bag just because I've always wanted to do a Studio Ghibli Eda bag. And I guess it's finally time to do a Studio Ghibli Eda bag. So this is so freaking cute. So I'm going to flip this camera around and we're gonna get a good look at the bag first and then we will start putting it together. So I really wanted to let you guys look at the bag kind of up close. So the only downside to this is, is that it's not the like best material that this part is made out of. So it did get a little bit of scratched here and there, especially on the tail. The most of the face is okay except for a few dents here and there, but really it's overall extremely cute and that really doesn't bother me that much to be honest it's still an absolutely lovely bag uh, one thing I like is that you can detach like the tail if you want so I can take the tail off and put it up more if I want or down more I like it down here you can also do the same thing with the face so if I didn't want the face on I could take it off if I wanted, but of course we want Cat Bus's face on, so let's get that back on. Alrighty, and honestly I think you can also take this off, yeah, so like there's another button there so you can take the actual frame of it off, but we're going to keep it on because I want to make sure that I put all of the pins in the perfect place. But of course the bag did come with this strap which we will put on later but let's just get to actually like decorating this bag i'm so excited all right so let's get to decorating this bag i guess i'll show you everything i have to put in it so i have this adorable little ponyo pin this thing is just so freaking cute i got it years ago at a con so i really wish i could remember the artist name i got it from in the artist alley but i really cannot remember if i do remember i'll do my best to link it down in the description if i can figure out the artist but look how cute this is the next few items i'm going to show you are actually items that i got from the studio ghibli museum in japan first off is this adorable Porco Rosso pin. My friend brought this one back to me when they went to Japan and it's so cute. We have a Howl's Moving Castle, Castle enamel pin. He is my favorite of the Studio Ghibli boys and Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite movie. So I had to get this when I went to the museum. Next is this cute little spider. I think it was like Sp Water Spider Mon Mon, I think was the name. It was one of the short films that I watched when I went to the Ghibli Museum. I think this is so freaking cute, and I really wanted to get it in memoriam that that's like the movie we watched. And the last thing I got from the museum is this adorable little pink Totoro keychain. I couldn't leave without getting a pink Totoro. I might try and incorporate this if possible. So you can't see this really well right now. I'll try and show you a better thing of it later. If you look super closely, you can see Sophie from the Owls Moving Castle film. This was actually my ticket at the Ghibli Museum. And I've always kept it in my wallet as a little like memoriam thing, you know, in memory of going to the Ghibli Museum. So I might try and incorporate this in the bag somewhere if possible. 
but not least, I bought a bunch of little cute pins from Etsy. I'll link the store. I bought all these from down below in the description box. So all of these were on sale at the um, on the store I bought them from, from Etsy, and they had a lot of different pins, but these are the Ghibli ones I picked out. So we got Haku from Spirited Away in his dragon form. We got Calcifer, of course, from House Moving Castle. We have cute little Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service, and of course I had to get a cat bus to go with the cat bus bag. We have a cute little Totoro from My Neighbor Totoro, and then we got the little robot from Laputa Castle in the Sky, and I was really excited to see this one because I think the robot is just so absolutely beautiful from castle in the sky so anyway i guess let's put things in the bag let me figure out where i'm gonna put them i guess because the thing is is i wasn't too worried about having a whole lot of pins to do this bag with just because there's really not a whole lot of space in these areas so i kind of just want to cover them up in any way i can oh and of course the bag did come with a little little Ida bag insert that you can take out but i'm gonna keep the insert in because Good idea to always have an insert for your year bag. So I guess while I'm taking up some of this time here while doing, you know, the bag, I can go ahead and tell you I my, you know, favorite Ghibli movie, maybe my first one, things like that. So as stated earlier, my absolute favorite Ghibli film is Howl's Moving Castle. That is one of my all-time favorite films in general. And then the first Ghibli film I ever watched was actually Kiki's Delivery Service. I used to own it on VHS as a kid. I, I really liked that one a lot. I remember my mom used to get sick of watching it because I always, always wanted to watch it. My all-time favorite character, boy-wise, would obviously be Hal, like stated earlier. Girl-wise, probably Sophie, too. I'm just a little bit biased towards Hal's moving castle. Um, I remember back when they were playing a lot of the Ghibli films in the movie theaters, I would actually go and watch it. It was, you know, they were really cool to see on the big screen. While we're here, too, maybe I'll post some pictures from the Ghibli Museum. We couldn't really film or take many pictures on the inside, but on the outside, you can take a picture with the beautiful robot from Laputa. So I'll post a picture somewhere in this video with it or something. <laughs> Gosh, I hope I placed this well because that Porco Rosso pan was actually really freaking difficult. Oh, okay, and it's placed perfect. Oh, thank God, because that pin was very difficult to get in there, surprisingly. <laughs> Alrighty, that's in there, so that's looking good. Water spider mon mon. Do I want to pin this in here or leave it on the outside? He didn't know yet. I don't know if he will. He might be a little too thick. He might be a little too thick. What about... Da, 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 da. I can get these tags off. Is he too thick too? Yeah, because I want to be able to see him well. So... Oh, this might not cover as much space as I would like, but hey, we're at least gonna get something done, right? So. One thing about this too is this insert is really nice that it is super thick, so I don't know if these will stay on very well in the back of the pins because it's already fallen out of how multiple times, but Okay, we'll make it work. It's not like I'm gonna lose the pins because they're in an Eda bag, so they'll be caught. I think Hal needs to be moved down just a little bit, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll look better. Yeah, okay, okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, okay, let's put the bags on. Hmm. Already lost one, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm going to make this work gonna make it work as long as I can get this velcro on and they all stay 
Come on, cat bastard, stay, stay. These backs are coming off. It's too thick. Alrighty. I think we're finally done with this part. It took much longer than anticipated. This, uh, what do you call that? Insert is so freaking thick that it's really hard for the pins to stay. Gonna make it work. Like I said, it's not like I'm gonna lose the pins or backs. So hopefully, in the long run, I wish this was over more, but this one, this one is the hardest to keep in. So we're just not gonna mess with you. Okay. Let's connect the strap so then I can connect the keychains. Perfect. Perfect. We got Totoro one. Now let's get Water Spider Mon Mon connected. Yay! And now I got Water Spider Mon Mon connected. Yay! Look how cute this is! Oh, this is so cute. I really just hope all of this is, these pins stay on because I really want them to stay. Oh, because this is so freaking cute. Look at this! Oh my gosh! Uh, we got the cat bus and Totoro. Oh my gosh, this is all just so freaking cute. Okay, okay, let's look at it all. Oh. While I'm holding it. Let's try that. And overall, here is me with the bag, holding the bag. A good, like, full body picture. This this strap here can go a little bit longer, but I am okay with this length here. And it's so cute. Oh, I'm so happy to have this adorable cat buzz bag. I really like this a lot. The wonderful faults of this bag definitely outweigh the, like, few things that bothered me really because this is just overall beautiful and gorgeous and in the long run I definitely didn't add the ticket from the Ghibli Museum just because if you put it anywhere in the bag you just would never get to see like the little Sophie film thing so we're just gonna keep it in my wallet so I can look at it whenever I want <laughs> this is so freaking cute <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know what your favorite Ghibli movie is. Alrighty guys, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!